Hi everyone, I'm Alona and you're watching Our Vision TV. Um, hi, so how are you and uh, did you enjoy yourself performing today? Hello, I'm good. I feel amazing after the show. It was really, really fun. Um, we had a great crowd and it's always a pleasure to perform at Airloft Hotels. You know, they're very kind, very sweet people and they know how to make you feel at home. So, um, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm please, just unwinding now. Yeah. Please, can you introduce yourself to our viewers and let them know who you are? And can you tell us about your sound and what kind of um, music you like to create? Sure. My name's Ilona and I'm a singer-songwriter from uh, London. I'm actually originally from Bulgaria with Russian roots, but um, I've been here for a while. And um, I do pop rock country music. And um, what was the other question? Uh, yeah, just like your sound and um, what you hope that's to my create sound. with it's, your music. It's pop rock. Um, it's very energetic. It's um, it's got a country element to it. It's very much universal sound. So um, it can apply in any country um, to any um, age to to anyone. You know, it's all about all the songs are very straightforward. They're all about love. They're about feeling heartbroken and being strong and finding kind of hope at the end of the day. So it's very much about um, the message and the lyrics. You know, I pay a lot of attention to lyrics and I try to make them as personal as, as possible. So um, yeah, that's what it's about. And then the live shows are about jumping, dancing, identifying with what's going on and just having a crazy good time. So, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I really enjoyed the show. I feel like your voice is very authentic, very real very passionate and I really enjoyed your song All My Love actually and I could, you. I could see that you got quite emotional when you were singing it and um, yeah I think I cried a little bit at the end yeah. and it was hard to get through. So what is that song about and why does it mean that much to you? Um, All My Love is a song I wrote last Christmas. I was having a really hard time during Christmas and you know Christmas is a wonderful time to be with your family. But I, um, I felt like I was in love with somebody that didn't feel the same way. So I needed to write and it was a bit of a dark place. And so every time I go back to that song and perform it, I kind of break down. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes a while. And I, I feel that's okay to do on stage. Not so much in real life for me, but on stage it's, it's a good thing to do. You know, people really feel what you mean. So. I feel like that song's very relatable and I'm sure a lot of people have felt that way in the past or are yeah. going through times like that. So I feel like your music is really relatable, it's very real and I, I think it's really great. I, you've got a new fan with Thank me. You. Yes. Anyway, and I also really enjoyed, um, is it I Still Fall For You? I think yeah. that's a really great track. I think yeah. it could be really popular and how do you feel like about the music that you make? And, how, how does I love I Still Fall For You. We, um, it's part of the EP, it's called Thunderstorm, and we wrote it with my manager um, about, it was originally intended to be like a movie soundtrack in the States, but we ended up just putting it on the EP anyway and just sharing it, because I love the song. So um, yeah, you can find it online, I Still Fall For You. Um, it's just a lot of fun to perform, and everyone can relate to that, you know. Everyone wants to be with somebody where you end up falling for every single morning. You know, yeah. that's the dream. That's It's so rare to find a person like that. So that's what the song is about. So who have been your biggest influences in your career so far and with your sound? I think um, musically it would be Phil Collins, Sade, uh, my favourite rock band 30 Seconds to Mars. I love them. Um, I love just Jared Leto's stage presence and the way he writes and everything he does. So I kind of um, derive my stage presence from that. Um, and um, I love Lenny Kravitz. I love Pink Floyd. Um, a lot of bands. More recently, I got into um, into the blues. I know I'm probably late coming into the blues, <laughs> but I got into Stevie Ray Vaughan and things like that, and just lots of different guitarists. Uh, like Carlos Santana, of course, I love. Um, so. And I love classical music as well as pop music. It's it's all these different styles that come into one. That's really good. Um, yeah. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but um, I've heard that you've supported Passenger, The, F um, the Feeling, sorry, and um, Newton Faulkner. Is it on tour that you supported them? Or? Unfortunately not. Yeah. Um, when I started doing music three years ago, my first support slot was with Passenger. Yeah. Um, it was in this little bar that was sold out. This was doing really well, and uh, we had a great time. Um, and Newton Faulkner came after that at Christmas and, and I've been doing all these spot um, opening 
shows here and there, um, and uh, jammed with a lot of amazing people as well, like Ms. Loppy and Ed Sheeran, and these people that I admire, so oh, it's wow. been cool, yeah. yeah. And how do you, fi um, how do you feel that uh, well, jamming and like singing with people like that has developed you as an artist? I think it kind of pushes you to be yourself, but also it's, it's hard to be yourself anyway. But when you do music, it's like being with the people that you, whose music you listen to all the time, people that you love, just make you feel the sense of gratification, I guess, for what you do. And you feel like you're a little bit more part of the right scene. Yeah. Not just the scene, but the right people around you. And you feel more confident and you feel like you're living, I guess, <laughs> um, to be deep about it. <laughs> Um, so yeah. for you, what has been your biggest accomplishment today and um, what do you hopefully want to achieve in the near future? Biggest accomplishment? I think it's getting my band together. I've done amazing shows, I've travelled a lot of times, especially in the States has been probably the most exciting bit of the journey so far, but putting my bandmates, the current band lineup together has been the most incredible thing. Because they're just such great musicians and we're like family. So it's very yeah, rare to find really that, nice. you know? Yeah. Um, so, it's, yeah. It's just that. And ambition for the future. I want to I wanna go on a big support tour and eventually, in maybe a couple of years or three years, depending on how things go, I want to have my own headline show. And I want to do arena tours and just release the music to everyone around the world. So. A lot of people can know what we do. Yeah, I believe you're very talented, so I don't see why there wouldn't be any reason why that couldn't happen for you, Thank you. in the near future. And um, just one last question. Um, what do you feel that you have learnt um, by being managed by um, Tony Moore, who of course is um, ex-Cutting Crew and Iron Maiden? What have you learned from him? I have learned so much from that man. It's, it's just... He's the most incredible person. He's a mentor, he's a friend, he's very compassionate, he's very kind, he's so creative. Like, he has all these ideas in his head all the time that he needs to put to practice, but it's just too much at the same time. And I have so much admiration for him, and he's the one that really helped me get out there, gave me my first show to begin with, you know? So, I have learned everything from him. <laughs> I literally owe everything I'm doing to him. So. That's yeah. really great. Thank Hope you he's so listening right now. <laughs> thank you so much and thank you so much for, for speaking to us. Uh, we hope to follow your journey as you go through and continue. We're really lovely. Thank you.